Hey, hey, how's it going? If you're new here, my name is Jam and I love makeup. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you. Clearly today we are talking all things Nomad Cosmetics. I am a genuine, honest to goodness fan of the brand, of the humans. I mean, I don't really know Auntie, but I chat with Felicia a ton and she's such a lovely human. And what they do is lovely. And I just, I really like the brand. So I enjoy making content about Nomad products. I was on their PR list for 2023 because Felicia said they were and are still a very small brand and they like to help support, encourage other small businesses, which, you know, I guess creators are kind of a business. Anyway, that was super amazing and I loved it and it was the coolest thing, uh, but it was just for 23. So now uh, not on the list anymore, buying all the things myself, except for the newest one, which we will get to eventually. If you're, if you're new here, <laughs> we talk about all of it. Uh, so I thought I would just, I don't know, like show you the palettes that I have. We could have a little chat about it. I'm not gonna rank these. I considered it briefly and then decided I don't hate myself and there's no sense investing that much energy into something that literally couldn't matter less. So I'm just going to tell you what I think. Maybe swatch a few. I also considered maybe just like swatching all the shadows and just making this like this super long video. Um, but I'm not sure if you want that and it would take so long. I did do that two years ago, maybe last year. I can't remember. I watched every palette and talked about every palette I had for the sale. Um, so, I mean, that video is up. I have a whole Nomad playlist with like, I think it's 106 videos in it right now. <laughs> Crazy person, but I do genuinely love the brand. Okay, I should stop talking about it and just start talking about it. Okay, I'm starting with what is technically the oldest palette from Nomad that I have that is available. All of these are, at the time of my filming this, they're all still available. I know one, I think two are going away, uh, but we'll burn that bridge when we get there. So first is the Nomad Haunted Europe palette. I'm not gonna say Nomad every single time. This is a Nomad video. I feel like it just like goes without saying. And they brought this back this year. So technically it's fairly new as well as old, but I really like this palette. Mm, sometimes I think I'm going to struggle with cool tones. It ends up working out, but this palette is very nice. It is an older Nomad palette, of course. So the formula is different. We've got Highgate Cemetery and Big Bad Wolf. So like they're, oh man, did you see the evidence? I had a Reese peanut butter cup pumpkin. We have a stash of them. I refer to them as protein bars because quite frankly, they have protein in them. So that was my lunch and my breakfast. Anyway, <laughs> so Highgate Park is, no, not Highgate Park, Jeez, I'm crow, Highgate Cemetery. It's definitely like a duo, multi-chrome, beautiful. It can be light as like a topper or it can be packed on with a bit more oomph and then big bad wolf like bad wolf bay if you know you know um they're really really nice shimmers they are not the multi-chromes and the metallics of royal europe or new zealand but they are nice the mattes are i mean just Like, speechless. They're so good. 
they're, they're thick, they're buildable, they're blendable. They are absolutely wonderful. I am gonna have the dirtiest fingertips of ever. You don't normally do this. I have my cellar water and a paper towel. <laughs> Not a paper, paper towel of the cloth ones that I bought at the thing. Okay, so that is Haunted Europe. It is a lovely palette and I know it was definitely one that was a fan favorite. Like people really wanted that palette to come back. So they brought it back this year. At the end of the video, I will please, please, please remember to um, share Nomad's sales with you. They're doing their Black Friday-ish sales and they are really, really good sales. It's the best of the year. So next up, we have, this one's also going. We have the Monteverde palette. Um, I live in Vermont, which is the Green Mountain State because they're not much for green. Anyway, uh, this is a green palette with lots of pops of color. <laughs> pop, 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 pop. There's a ton of them. This palette is on sale now because they are retiring it. We got this uh, multi-chrome right here, duochrome. I think it's called Hanging Bridges. Yes. Wow. Honestly, my favorite shade in this palette is the matte green spiny lizard and the matte it's some green snake, tree snake, maybe vine snake. The matte green vine snake. The shimmers are nice. Again, they are very much, I think like an older formula. And when this came out, it was really nice. And that's the thing with like, oh, this one. Cloud Canopy, oh, and then Wildlife Wonderland. The greens in this palette are spectacular. Absolutely gorgeous. And then we have Passiflora, which is so, so, so pretty. Jaguar, I mean, come on. I love this palette. I have not used it in a really long time, I think. But I, wow. The mess I am making. I used this palette a boatload. I mean, like I said, they have lots of videos. I. I did consider uh, looking for pictures from all the videos I've done, but I have to be honest with you, I did that last year for all the palettes I used in 2023. And I had to go through videos and take screenshots of the looks because I didn't take pictures. It's really just been this year that I've been better about taking pictures of my looks. I just never did. It always felt super narcissistic and weird. So I just didn't do it. So through our videos, there's just not a lot of pictures, but this palette is stunning. The pigmentation of those mattes, gorgeous. So if you were considering picking this up and you just hadn't yet, it is going bye-byes. So I would definitely recommend grabbing it. It's so good not better than you don't get your little palette in a twist calm down everybody's fine next we have verona this is the other one that is being retired it's going to be gone when i'm filming this felicia said this week and they're usually pretty right about that stuff so um if you wanted it get it now if it's still available i really like this palette this shade down here. I want to say it's something comedy. It's just comedy. Look at me go. Was my favorite. I love a red eyeshadow like so 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 much and this one's really really good. It has an orangey kind of shift sort of to it so it's not it doesn't lean pink which I love. 
we have comedy and moors. I mean, just spectacularly stunning eyeshadows. I will say the shimmers in this palette definitely hard pan, which if you've been here before, you know, I'm not fussed about. It happens. It's super easy to fix. I just get in there with a spoolie, scrape it up a little bit, spray my brush, dip into the scraped up bits and apply it to my eyes and it works beautifully every single time. So if you don't want to fuss with it, then, you know, just know going into it that those, um, those shimmers do hard pan. All right, who's next? So, uh, Verona was sent to me in 2023 from the brand, as was Royal Europe. This was quite the palette. I did a bunch of looks with this. The multi-chromes are still available on the website as singles. If you were wanting maybe one or two, but not the whole palette, you can get them. Uh, it's a very dark palette overall. You know, there's not, even the lightest blue palace of Versailles is still a mid-tone blue. So this is definitely a palette that would make a great companion to a, another lighter palette. Oh, that was just me. That was me. It wasn't the shadow. So we have St. Edward's Crown and Royal Orb. These are just beautiful. They are smooth. I love them so much. I had all of Nakia Joy's cosmetics uh, multi-chrome pigments and I actually decluttered those and gave them to my bestest bestie because I had these basically the same shades but these are already they're like pressed and much easier to use with the Nakia Joy ones I had to wet them to get them to work and these I can use wet or dry so this palette is beautiful and still available. Okay, you need to calm down. Okay, you're gonna get a turn. I've never seen a palette so insistent on being first. Okay, next, this palette. Uh, this palette came at a time when I can't even, but everything was awful. Worst. Worst time of my life. I don't think there's, I mean, God, I hope nothing tops it. It was the worst thing anyone could imagine, honestly. Um, and I was in a bad place for a few months and I didn't think I was coming out of it. And then I got the notification that this was gonna be coming and Nomad gave it to me. You know, they just, they sent it to me because I was on the PR list. I wanted to do some looks with it. So this helped me get out of the really big, really bad yuck that I was in. And I love this palette. I love this palette because it saved me. I love this palette because I love anything to do with wild animals. I've seen every animal documentary available on Netflix, Amazon, you name it. I have gotten apps to watch shows, uh, like documentaries. So I really, really, really like this. It's beautiful. Again, these shimmers had some hard panning as well. And I just did a little scrape, scrape trick. And they're totally fine. We have migrating zebras or zebras and roaring lions that looks, I can see it reflecting in the mirror. It's so pretty. These are just beautiful, absolute, stunning, lovely shades. And that's what you get with Nomad. It's 
they're just good. Everything is always so, so, so good. Like knock your socks off good. Next, also sent to me from the brand is the Ghost Town USA. I think, yeah, geez, I'm cruel. These are so good. I love this palette. The greens, the blues, the purples, the browns, they are fantastic. Holy moly, they're so good. Just, I mean, the blues are a more muted blue. So I think for a lot of people, it's probably more wearable. They are absolutely stunning. Uh, Copper Penny was one of my favorite shades. It's just, I mean, that is a new penny right there. It's so pretty. And then Tombstone, just really nice nice and beautiful and oh eyeshadows are so cool it's so much more than just like colored powder you know it's fantastic and i you know i think my favorite matte was this arrested decay shade okay well that's a bad swatch don't look it's a a really cool tone brown I just thought it was so just beautiful. I love, love, love that with Calico, California. Look at that. I mean, just so pretty. <laughs> so all of these 2023 palettes, Nomad sent me. And then we have the original Air Travel palette. This is a fantastic little six pan palette. I really honestly think they hit all the marks with this. Enough depth, enough light. It's really, really nice. The shimmers and the mattes in this are perfect. There's literally nothing wrong. They don't hard pan. They don't crease. Well, on me, I, I have very hooded eyes, obviously. So a lot of times, eyeshadows will crease on me and then look really not good, but these don't. They are beautiful. I think that was the last of the palettes that Nomad gave me. And then we have New Zealand Stargazing, which came out this year. This palette is stunning too. This, like this one and Royal Europe are, I think, the ones that really grab you and you're like, wow, that's, that's quite the color story. These are fantastic. Every matte and every shimmer is absolutely beautiful. Now, if I could just get Felicia and or Auntie to give me these two shades, Aurora Astralis and Magellanic Clouds. If I don't look at it while I'm reading it, if I don't look at all I'm saying, I can say it. I need these in highlighters. I just need a big, huge pan. Just, I love these two shades with my entire heart. Like, I can feel it in my stomach how beautiful these are. Like, look at that. Are you kidding me? Look. I will put the other one on the side. <laughs> Can you see just how gorgeous those are? Go tell Felicia. We need these in highlighters. Every shade in this palette is stunning. Just absolutely gorgeous. But those two, those are the ones that really grab me in the feels and I love them so much. Ah. And we have Ireland Wild Atlantic Way. Mm, this was obviously <laughs> um, early spring, late winter launch. It's a green palette, but it is so much more than that. It is gorgeous. I did a full on blue look. I did a blue and green look. I did a neutral look. I just, ah, uh. again, I think from 
Well, Oka Van Gogh does have a little bit of the hard painting issue, but Royal Europe right up through uh, even the uh, Monteverde, great shimmers. But this is the same, like fantastic quality, absolutely gorgeous. I do think a couple of the greens are maybe a little more similar than maybe one needs in one palette. But, you know, depending on what you do, what if you really love one of them? You've got kind of like a backup. So, you know, I don't know. I think they're beautiful. And the shimmers in this, same. Just beautiful, beautiful shimmers. I'm going to swatch my two faves. Are you ready? <laughs> Ring of Carry. Oh, just stunning. Look at that. Oof. And then, I can't say this one, something Harbor. It's, that was a really bad swatch. Come on. A really pretty blue. Nothing, you know, wild and crazy going to knock your socks off. But for an eye look, beautiful. Like, what more could you possibly want? Except maybe the Cliffs of Moore and Slancha. You know, everything else in the palette. <laughs> I genuinely wish I had more time, more eyelids, something, because I don't know. I look at these and think they're just so beautiful to look at, but also to play with, to apply, to touch. Just so much goodness. And you know, Nomad always does like the guessing game to see if you can guess where their next uh, destination is, I never get it right. Not once until this palette. The Keys Beachy Peachy palette. There was something about, oh man, there were two comments and I was like 100% sure it was the Keys. And it was, it's the only one I've ever been right about. This is so, good oh my gosh okay so see nomad are the royal europe in this one or um new zealand stargate <laughs> drawing blanks here new zealand would be absolutely beautiful with these palettes let's swatch oh, rum runner and Paradise Found. Mm. I have a Juvia's Place palette that has these kinds of shades. This is all I wanted from that palette. Just this. And it didn't give it to me. Look at those. They're beautiful together. Ah, uh, so good. I'm whispering again. That's when you know it's real. Next, we have Fuji Five Lakes. I'm always excited to get a Nomad palette. I know it's going to be amazing. And when I saw this, I was like, oh, I cannot wait. That's going to be so good. And then I got it and I used it and I was blown away. This yellow right here, the matte yellow in this end, was stunning. Like, absolutely, unbelievably gorgeous. Pigmented and lovely. This went on my eye so nicely. And we're talking just like on my eye. No white base, just, just this over a regular eye primer. It was gorgeous. I was just like, yes, please. Uh, let's do Fiery Maple. Beautiful. So, so, so pretty. I mean, next and almost last, we have the Chicago Speakeasy. I really like this palette. I like the way it's set up. I like everything about it. I think it's so pretty. 
I loved the green and purple look that I did. The red multi-chrome in here, duochrome, multi-chrome, I'm not entirely sure. It has Gin Ricky, which is very similar. It could even be more similar than I think. Gin Ricky and then the red multi-chrome that I can't say. Very similar to New Zealand. Again, gorgeous highlight. That was was a bit much. Okay, I got a little carried away, but you know what I mean. Just so pretty. How many times can I say so pretty? And again, the mats, same thing. Absolutely beautiful. And they go deep and they go light. Like, you know, it's really good about the balance. And I, for one, appreciate that because it's not something like all brands do. So yeah. Uh, and last but not least is the brand new Polar Express. This palette has been giving me trouble since I got on here to film. It's what I'm wearing today. If this look isn't up, it's coming minus the added highlight shades. Polar Express, not my favorite Christmas movie by any stretch, but the train thing, my favorite Christmas song of ever is Old Toy Trains by Roger Miller. Mm. If I remember, I'll link it in the description box in case you haven't heard it or haven't heard it in a long time. It's, it's so good. And I had boys and Nuka and yeah. So at this point, right this very, as we speak in, I have used all but two shades in this palette. And I'm very excited to play with it more. It is so nice. It's so good. I'm loving it. My Blue Monday look was with this palette and the blues in this were knock your socks off. And then someone commented that Nomad does really good blues and I was looking through, yes, they do. I mean, they do really good everything. Let's be honest, they really do. Um, but I had forgotten just how good the blues are um, throughout doing this and looking at all the palettes kind of one right after another, I can definitely see that there are some similarities between palettes. Um, let me know, <clears throat> excuse me, let me know if you want to see a comparison, swatches, whatever, I'll do it because, uh, I just love makeups and I love playing and I love helping. So if it's something you want to see, let me know. But also, uh, when they nomad doesn't do um it's not called temporary why can't i think of words limited edition they don't do a whole lot of limited edition palettes they did with lapland and home for the holidays hmm. um but overall they don't they they keep their palettes around for a year which i think is fantastic because they don't I think Felicia and Auntie are not young and I mean, they're not old. They're, well, Felicia's younger than me. I don't know about Auntie, um, but they're old enough to know that <clears throat> they don't have to cause panic and FOMO to get people to want to support the brand. They, they keep their stuff around. They do really good sales. There's always a 10% off code in somebody's video. I have one, Shawnee has one. I mean, they are everywhere. Nomad is incredibly generous with their code giving. Um, yeah, so I, I just, I love the brand. They donate a portion of all of the sales to environmental causes that are worth supporting. And Felicia is so nice to me, you know, like not everybody in the world is nice and certainly not someone like me who has a very tiny YouTube channel, you know, like I'm crippled. I don't go anywhere. I'm never going to be invited on trips or things like that. So I don't know. It just, it feels nice that she is so kind and seems to genuinely appreciate the people who do videos or 
do posts and play with their makeups. So I don't know, that makes me want to support them all the more. So anyway, I do have way more palettes. I think I've got another 10 or 12. I have a lot. If you want to see palettes that are no longer available, let me know. But that's what I was getting at. I used, you haven't seen it yet when I'm filming this, but I used the Orient Express palette for my Throwback Thursday video this past week. And the Shimmer Multichrome that I used in that video was gorgeous. And I didn't see it anywhere in here because I wanted to remember to keep an eye out. Because, you know, I think Nomad will bring back similar things in other palettes that maybe did really well. Or, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not behind the scenes. Nobody is consulting me. Um, but I am going to mention to Felicia that she should bring back that Venice shade from Orient Express. Man, that was gorgeous and different. I don't have that anywhere in my makeups. And you can see behind me, the cabinet and the shelf system on top of the cabinet, it's full of eyeshadow palettes. So I'm not lacking in variety. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe she'll bring it back. She's probably already got all of next year's palettes done, which means we'll have to wait another year, but I'm going to mention it. That and the highlighters that I need. <laughs> all right. Let me know what you think. All your thoughts. I super appreciate you hanging out and, you know, sticking with me through all the nonsense. Hopefully you like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Either way, I appreciate you. Be good and remember to be kind to you. Bye.